The Vision of Daniel 8, The Ram and the Goat The Vision of Daniel Chapter 8 will be presented in three videos. The first video will address the vision of the ram and the goat. The next video will address the little horn of Daniel 8.9. And the third video will address the vision of Daniel 8.14. Point 1. When was the vision of the ram and the goat given to the prophet Daniel? Daniel 8, 1 reads, In the third year of the reign of King Belshazzar, a vision appeared to me, to me, Daniel. This vision was given to Daniel in 550 B.C., eleven years before the fall of Babylon. The vision looks forward to the Medo-Persian Empire. Daniel 2, 7, and 8 are parallel prophecies. All three present the succession of the great empires, Babylon, Medo-Persia, Greece, Rome, and divided Rome. But Daniel 8 begins with Medo-Persia and does not mention Babylon at all. Daniel 8 also adds details about the little horn power and discusses the judgment of mankind. Point 2. Which empire does the ram represent? Daniel 8, 3 and 4 reads, Then I lifted my eyes and saw, and there, standing beside the river, was a ram, which had two horns, and the two horns were high, but one was higher than the other, and the higher one came up last. I saw the rams pushing westward, northward, and southward, so that no animal could withstand him, nor was there any that could deliver from his hand, but he did according to his will, and became great. The angel explains to Daniel that the ram is Medo-Persia. Daniel 8.20 reads, The ram which you saw having the two horns, they are the kings of Media and Persia. The two horns represent the two parts of the empire. The Persians, the younger of the two nations, became dominant over the Medes. In the year 539, the Medes and Persians conquered Babylon. All the kings were Medes until 522 B.C. From 522 to 331, every king was Persian. The Persians became more powerful, and Daniel eventually stops calling the empire Medo-Persia and just refers to it as Persia. The ram pushed west, north, and south. It conquered Babylon in 539, Lydia in 546, and Egypt in 525. Note that the Bible says the ram was great. Point 3. Which empire does the goat represent? Daniel 8, 5 through 8 reads, And as I was considering, suddenly a male goat came from the west, across the surface of the whole earth, without touching the ground. And the goat had a notable horn between his eyes. Then he came to the ram that had two horns, which I had seen standing beside the river, and ran at him with furious power. And I saw him confronting the ram. He was moved with rage against him, attacked the ram, and broke his two horns. There was no power in the ram to withstand him, but he cast him down to the ground and trampled him, and there was no one that could deliver the ram from his hand. Therefore the male goat grew very great. And when he became strong, the large horn was broken, and in place of it four notable ones came up toward the four winds of heaven. The angel explains to Daniel that the goat is Greece. Daniel eight twenty one and 22 reads, And the male goat is the kingdom of Greece. The large horn that is between its eyes is the first king. As for the broken horn and the four that stood up in its place, four kingdoms shall arise out of that nation, but not with its power. The notable horn between his eyes was Alexander the Great, who came from the west and defeated the armies of Persia. Alexander conquered the empire of Persia quickly. It only took three years. The prophecy represents this rapidity when it says that the goat was so swift it didn't touch the ground. It was flying through the air. Alexander died at the age of 32 without an heir at the height of its power. Some historians say he died of a drunken stupor. Others say he may have been poisoned. The prophecy says that the four kingdoms shall arise out of that nation, but not with its power. In other words, the rulers of those four kingdoms were not Alexander's children. His generals fought each other until four notable ones came up from the four winds of heaven. The kingdom was divided into four sections, each from the four points of the compass. In Daniel 7, the leopard with four wings and four heads represented Alexander's Grecian Empire. You can see the parallels between the two prophecies. Note that the ram was great, but the male goat was very great. Point 4. Why does the vision of Daniel 8 begin with Medo-Persia when both the prophecies of Daniel 2 and Daniel 7 begin with the great empire of Babylon? The vision of the 2300 days begins its fulfillment during the Medo-Persian Empire. Therefore, this prophecy skips a time period of Babylon and focuses our attention on the Medo-Persian Empire. 
you will learn of the three Medo-Persian kings who gave commands that caused the time clock of the 2300-day prophecy to start ticking. In my next video, we will study about the little horn of Daniel 8, verse 9. The little horn grows up from one of the four horns of the Grecian Empire. The prophecy says that the little horn grew exceedingly great. From this we know that the little horn is greater than the Medo-Persian Empire, which was described as great. And it was greater than the Grecian Empire, which was described as very great. The little horn is exceedingly great. We will learn that this final little horn power is still ruling today and will continue until the end of time when it will be destroyed, not by human hands, at the second coming of Jesus. If you want to learn more about the prophecies of Daniel 2 and 7, click on the links at the right side of this screen to watch more videos on these topics. Until next time, God bless you.